Hello everybody, Dan here. I'm surprised with myself, but I keep you promise to give you daily updates. Today, quite a few hours I worked on the system. Mostly I had to deal with the cabling, try to make everything look nice. At least to my standard, I'm not like a singularity computer who does every custom cable length and it's look incredible. Just try to keep it decent, so to speak. With a couple problems on the way, customer has those custom cables. I don't know what they're coming from, from somewhere in the US made them. They completely screwed up. GPU, I figured out it right away because it has a wrong connector on PSU side. So it didn't even fit Corsair PSU. Also, it was specifically made for Corsair PSU. So I threw it away and just used black extension on GPU on my own, which I think even look even better in this particular case. But I, I basically put 24 pin and the power for CPU in and this was only two freaking parts I didn't check I decided before I do this build I check everything but the one thing I missed was those bloody cables and sure enough everything screwed up so I tried to warp up system protection kicks in just clicks gone nothing so luckily nothing get fried they just cross wired cables on both bloody cables and um, I test like try to replace this one didn't work other one both work so I tried different combination basically both cables screwed up should go to the garbage so I end up using standard cables from Corsair and I use black extensions with some dark side combs which I think actually looks good because there's a lot of stuff going on with this motherboard uh, lots of lights and um, I think that those tacky cables would be a little bit too much so this garbage out so anyways so other things that i that took most of the day and the last thing i did i trade the system and i put my custom mixed liquid you can see that it's kind of matching colors of those cables we're not using not using and also matching colors of the rings on course our fans so how i did it i basically mostly use a blue dye and i put couple drops of green and that gave me correct shade so that wasn't that difficult at all so you can see that the color is kind of nice one thing that left here i basically kind of done but i'm questioning myself if we really need any led lights because it's a lot of lights in the system already so it's one thing second thing i need to finish bleeding which is takes time and i'm not going to sit here all night obviously to do so so everything moving in next week so nothing else i can do a weekend mother's day you know things get heated better be home take care about your woman so no work so anyway so that's that's what i have today and the one thing that okay i'll show you later one thing that changed from last time Apparently my customer has ODAC, like good quality ODAC, so it was no need to put uh, ODAC came with motherboard, so it was trashed it. And uh, we come back to original plan, I, have, I put fan control in. Just one channel goes for all four fans on the radiator, another channel goes on three fans on the front through PWM splitter. It's not PWM fans, but nevertheless, you can control power from control and just use a splitter as a power distribution thingy. So that, that's what basically was done here. So a little change in a visual appearance of the system. Other than that, that's it. So it was mostly cabling, as I said. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy those little snippets of my work and uh, well, I'll update you next week. What will be the final thing about this build? See you soon.